Think of programmatic data cleaning as its own separate process within data wrangling. It also has three steps, defining, coding, and testing. First, you'll define a data cleaning plan in writing. You convert your assessments into cleaning tasks by writing little how-to guides. Think of this like pseudocode. In the future, this plan also serves as documentation so others, or yourself in the future, can look at your work and reproduce it. Second, you'll translate these words to code and actually run it. And finally, you'll test your data set, often using code to make sure your cleaning code worked. This is kind of like a revisit of the assess step. Similar functions are used too. Here's a concrete example of the data cleaning process, defining, coding, and testing. So gathering was completed, imported the pandas library, and read this animals.csv file into a data frame called df. Then visual assessment was done in pandas, and two quality issues were noted. The letters bb before every animal name, and an exclamation mark instead of a period for the decimal in body weight and brain weight. Notice that these assessments are observations. So let's get cleaning. The first step, defining. Rather than a strict observation like in our assessment documentation, defining uses verbs. It's a call to action to fix the issue we observed. For example, this works. Remove BB before every animal name. The verb or action word being remove. You can get as detailed as you like. Whatever you find helps you best when coding next. So this could very well be remove BB before every animal name using string slicing. Specifying the tool or function, method, etc. that you'll use to actually fix this issue using code. A second example for the exclamation mark issue. Replace exclamation mark with period in body weight and brain weight columns. Those are defined cleaning operations. Okay, so step two, coding. This is actually doing the thing you mentioned in your definition. And for us in this course, we're going to leverage the pandas library. To fix the first issue, we'll use string slicing, and to fix the second one, we'll use pandas' string.replace method, each operating on their own column, animal, body weight, brain weight. So now it's testing time, the third step in the data cleaning process. This is making sure our code worked. The simplest way of doing so is just visually assessing your data set again, which we'll do for this data set because it's pretty small. And everything looks good here. Visual assessment works here, but we can also use programmatic assessments, assert statements, uh, pandas' built-in testing methods and functions, for example, also. Remember, data wrangling can be an iterative process. Whether you're in the gather, assess, or clean phase, you can iterate on them. So you just gathered a bunch of data. For this lesson, I handled the assessing, cleaning, then analyzing and visualizing. But at any point in that process, I could have stopped to gather more data. You can even assess some more. Once you go through each step of the data wrangling process once, you can revisit them at any time, even after we've finished wrangling and have moved on to analysis, visualization, or modeling.